Whoa. That was almost Uno Edie. Uno. Mono y Mono. Welcome to Centil. Okay, let's talk about why the buildings are white. All of them white. Why? It's hot here. Like, really hot. It gets up to 50 degrees here in the summer. And so when the Arabs came in, the Moors, they painted everything white to reflect the light. And it's also why we see houses so close together. When you put the houses so close together, you block the sun and you create all of the shade for you know the sun to not kill you. I guess I'll show you. Check this out. That's pretty nice. So we're gonna look at this map and see where we're at. So we're in the here. Go up this way and around and down. Oh, I wonder how long that is. I have to be back at a certain time or else my tour bus will leave me. So we're gonna go this way and appreciate that. What? That's pretty. So here, we're now under where there's a cave, and there's shops. <laughs> Lots of restaurants open. We're looking at where's the Mossy House. Just check that out. I wonder if there's bats up there. Now, Centil is kind of like a pun in a play on names. Cent as in seven and nil as in none. Why is it called Centil? Well, now long ago, there was so many people that populated this area of southern Spain. The Romans were here, and as you know, Roman Empire kind of dissolved in the 400 ADs. After that, the people from North Africa, the Arabs, the Moors, they came up here. The climate's pretty similar to how it is in North Africa, and they're like, hey, Romans aren't here, yet they left a lot of cool architecture and stuff. How about we come in and, you know, do some farming and do some living? So they came up here, and when they came up here, what they did was build houses, like the one we see here, in a very similar way to how they do in North Africa. In the 1400s, part of the North wanted to kick the Moors out because the Moors were into Islam and the North was into not Islam. So down here, it took the Crusades eight times to capture this village. Seven times they failed. So it's super secured and fortified in the, like caves and that sort of stuff. Ooh. Galleria. Let's check out this Galleria. Walk down the stairs. Actually, the reason we're coming down these stairs is because I see a veil. Where the Aquí. Ooh. I'm pretty certain this was not the route that the tour lady told me to take. Um, but she's a legend. She's speaking everything in three languages. And I kind of forgot to listen. There's two streets, she said. There's a street of the sun and a street of the moon. Ooh, let's look inside. Can we go in? That looks so cool. So inside here, it's like built inside a cave. Let's see if it's open. Nope, nope, Puerto Cerrado. But it's like nice and shady and cool inside there. So let's go up this little route. This is nice. Look how pretty this is. I 
Okay, I'm royally lost. I'm looking for the street of the sun and instead I found this super cool street. Like literally, very cool. Cave house 15, okay, we'll see if that's open. It doesn't look like it's open. Okay, well, if it were, we would visit the cave house. So instead, we're just gonna walk up this super cool street. How cool is it to think that this is like 1500 years old, at least? Hola. You wanna be in the vlog? Yeah? Okay. Hola. <laughs> Come back. Hello <laughs> Be in the vlog. Hola. <laughs> so cute. Okay. And dog got stage fright. I wonder where we're going. That's really pretty. Wow. Doors. Leon. So pretty. Look at these little pillars. <laughs> We're going down here. Okay. Parking. Oh, oh, hola. What is this? I found something. Oh, how cool. Okay. This is beautiful. How do I always find these spots? So, there's like four tour buses here in this town. And each tour bus has between 50 and 70 people on it. And, guys, there's just me on this road. What is this? I have the coolest life, which is why you should subscribe to come and watch my life. Oh, 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 we have a Via Puerto. So that's what it looks like inside one of these old cave houses. They just live right next to the cave. How cool is that? There's this nice little seating area in the middle of wherever I am. And this beautiful plant. And then we have these like semi pokey not pokey cactuses. This is so cool. <laughs> Are you pokey? No, but like there's a pokey right there. This town is badass. I think I'd live here. Just imagine though trying to trying to capture this town with like people living inside the caves and inside the rocks here. Like that would be a pain in the butt. No wonder they failed seven times. And you can hear all sorts of sound just like coming through the canyon. Oh, old chairs. I like that they've kept some of the Moorish architecture with these bricks the vertical way and you see the red of the bricks as well.
We're definitely lost. I'm just looking for another tourist. What do you sell a tourist? Look at these houses. Built into the cave. This one would be sick. I think it's abandoned. In the Puerto Serrano. Look how cool that would be to live there. I could live in a rock. So instead of living under a rock, I could live in a rock. <laughs> Maybe I should make this a comedy channel. This has got to be the prettiest laundry I've seen. Sitting right next to fresh flowers. Okay, now that's a great idea. Oh, it's a Monday. Okay. I could have Casa here. This is so cool. So there's all sorts of caves and stuff here. One thing I want to tell you, why is it called Bodegas? Well, bodegas were where they used to do a lot of olive oil and stuff and wine. And they stopped doing wine and olive oil here. But, hmm, maybe I need to be on the other side. Well, this is unexpected. Who's this? What? Guys, I found the party. Party in the club. Come give me a hug. Okay, I think I would totally be into parties if it involves hanging out in a cave. What? So now I'm just wandering on this. It's like it used to be a path. Um. Like next to these huge high walls. I don't see, I mean, there's not much here. Like there's these beautiful houses on the other side. And I'm trying to figure out how to get across and go over. Maybe I should look at a map, but I'm on a very short time schedule. And I don't know if I'll have time to look at the map. Oh, there's even cooler stuff up here. You guys. This town is very awesome. Hola! Look, just like old benches you can hang out here. Chill out. Wow. I wonder why this part's not kept up so much. It's very cool. Like another bench. I don't want to go into their backyard. But look at that house. Like, that would just be epic. And then across the river, we have a bunch more of these. Now, for a long time, a bunch of people in southern Spain used to live in Malaga. Right now, there's about 2 million residents down there. But over the last 10 years, tourism has become pretty intense, making a lot of the residents need to move up north and into these areas because it's a little bit more affordable. That said, that kind of came too late because a lot of the areas where the farmers live, like where we're at now, you know, they retired and went on to their next life. So there's a lot of rundown and just like abandoned places that just need a little bit of love, a little bit of TLC, and they could become some super epic establishments. So you don't have to party in the club, of course, unless you want to. Um, one thing I will call out is that like 90% of the cans in there are crushed and I think that's pretty awesome that even though you're littering and keeping all of your garbage outside when you don't need to, um, <laughs> you're able, you know, to still get it prepared for recycling. Okay, now we're going to try to figure out how to go find my tour bus because I'm pushing it for time because I'm a little lost. I'm not lost. Lost, lonely, and waiting for you to come. Ooh. 
I'm not meant to be. So that's Sentil. I hope you liked it. It's an amazing city. I think that absolutely you should come visit it. If you do, plan on spending about six or seven hours here just to wander the streets, go inside to some of the restaurants, and then you can see the, the cave engravings and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, and when you're lucky, you can find a path down to the river. You can have some nice snacks at the river. Anyway, like, subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.